I don't know how he balanced everything, but he did, and he did it well. I was always impressed with the way he could do it. He loved people and being out and about, but he was always at home when the children were doing special things. He just had a knack of doing that. He thought quickly and uh, everything he did was done quickly and well. I remember Dad worked a lot and I know he worked hard and he worked long hours, but I, he never missed a ball game of mine. He would always be there somehow. So somehow he managed to work that into his schedule and, and either before supper or after supper and come to the ball game and then he would go back to work. So he certainly showed me that there was a good balance between work and family. UMB has been a huge part of uh, my life and my family's life. My early, some of my earliest memories are going to work with Dad on the weekends to the civil engineering department up in the attic. He had an office there and I would write on the blackboard and pretend I was him and pretend I was a teacher. I was very young um, and I'm not sure if Dad actually brought me to really help him or uh, just to get me out of the house. We would always leave Fredericton and go one direction or the other wherever the accident was that needed to be reconstructed. Of course the accident scene was long gone, but Dad and I would always stop for lunch somewhere and we would stop usually at a diner or at a cafe somewhere and that, those were really my best memories. Once we got out there on scene, I would, of course chewed up by mosquitoes and you know holding a rod for Dad or holding a measuring tape or measuring the width of the highway. Those, those are my memories about uh, accident scene reconstruction with Dad. We were constantly surrounded by unique people. Um, he really brought the people that he worked with. My parents brought them into our lives in terms of having lots of parties, having the sort of civil engineering barbecues. We constantly had students around our dinner table for special occasions, really learned the importance of, of diversity and learning about the international students who had come from various uh, parts of the world and they were always welcome in our home and we learned so much from them. And also just connection with people. He was always connecting and, and um, sort of bringing the people that he was surrounding himself with at work into our home in such a positive way. Uh, and then there was always the expectation of uh, working hard and doing well and a reminder that you could always do better. <laughs> but he has done so much for people that no one knows about, whether it's money or just being accepted, that sort of thing, and uh, never talks about it afterwards. There, he's done so much that nobody is aware of. It's always impressed me about him. Uh, years ago, we had uh, a group of Ethiopian students uh, come through. They, they were sponsored by the World Bank. Uh, they came to UMB to do their masters, get training, and take that that knowledge back to Ethiopia. Uh, one student came through and again Frank leaned on him fairly hard while he was here and uh, he went away went back to Ethiopia. Eventually Frank heard from him uh, this guy had two children uh, who were high school age. The son was about to be forced into the military which would have not have been a good fate at the time given the unrest that was going on in the country. So Frank did his thing and he pulled some strings and he beat the bushes and eventually found a research position that this former student um, could come back to UMB. The whole objective was to save his kids from having to, to serve in the military. So he came back, worked for a couple of years, the money ran out, this former student had to go back, but the kids stayed behind. Basically saved the kids, but the daughter eventually became a medical doctor, practices now in Canada, and uh, the son who eventually ended up doing a master's degree in computer science. So two very, very bright uh, kids who are now citizens of Canada and doing very, very well. That's the kind of person that he is. You know, he had the loyalty to this former student and as a result, uh, you know, it's, it's a happy ending for everybody. There are many, many stories like that with Frank. What people should know most about Dad is that he loves to laugh, loves to tell stories. Even if you've heard the same story, you have to hear it again and that he loves, absolutely loves to hear a good story, tell a good story, and really laugh. You know when he's at his very happiest, it's when he's taken his glasses off and he's wiping the tears from laughing so hard and he has to put them down, 
put them on his lap and actually wipe both eyes and he can't even continue talking or telling the story because he's laughing at himself so hard. <laughs> what would I most like people to know about him? <laughs> his generosity. He's put more tires on my boyfriend's cars, found people jobs, just really stepped up to the plate always. He supported his family in so many ways. He is a wonderful grandfather. He's really been the stable source, he and my mother and my children's lives. Um, that he's so well educated, but he's worked so hard to get where he was, the privilege that he's provided for our family is very different than the privilege, you know, he had to earn all his way all along and did that. And I think his kindness. He is probably one of the kindest people I know who really puts others in front of himself and is always there to, to pick you up and to try to make things better and make things work.